this is my first blog post or post or whatever you want to call it. The project that I'm starting, um, it's called the Rotator Cuff Expert. The reason why I'm doing this project is because it's difficult for patients to understand all the details that go along with uh, shoulder problems, whether it's rotator cuff or other things. I say rotator cuff because most people in most circumstances in my office have problems with a rotator cuff. Now, it could be other things. We could talk about that as we go along. But this is my first post. Uh, and so if it looks like I'm a little struggling a little bit or I don't know exactly what's going on, it's probably because I don't. So I'm an orthopedic surgeon. I've been an orthopedic surgeon for about 13 years. Do a lot, a lot of shoulders. And therefore, I've noticed over time, more and more questions come up and we have less and less time in the office to get the answers. So what we're gonna do in this series, uh, uh, we're gonna talk about questions that come up. So uh, if you don't get the right answers or a complete answer or um, want another kind of answer in a different way, um, come to me and we'll talk about it and we'll figure out how to make it more clear. So one of the most common questions, why does my shoulder hurt? Now, obviously there's, there's millions of reasons why the shoulder hurts, but there's a few reasons that happen more commonly over and over and over again. So if you have a specific shoulder problem, you should go see your doctor, go see your orthopedist, go see your primary care doctor and have them look at you and examine you and get their tests and the x-rays, MRIs, whatever. But in general, if you, want to, if you want to know the general idea why shoulders hurt, in my practice, there's three main reasons why. One is rotator cuff problems, two is arthritis, and three is, I don't know what three is, but two, let's go with two. So shoulder has the ball and has the socket, right? And the ball and socket can be a problem in arthritis, which means the cartilage in between the two wears away, sort of like a tread on the tire over time, wears and wears and wears. And then that rough surface on rough surface is painful. So that's a reason why you may have shoulder pain. Obviously that has more to do with people who are older or people who have more uh, trauma. So we can have what we call post-traumatic arthritis. So that's one reason. The second reason um, is rotator cuff. Again, a rotator cuff is a cuff. So people talk about what is the rotator cuff or some people say rotor cup or rotator cup or some sort of version because it doesn't make any sense. So the, the way that I like to explain it is it's a cuff, like a cuff on your collar and your shirt, right? That cuff goes around the wrist, just like the cuff of tissue goes around the ball and holds it into the socket, okay? So it's muscle and tendon. So muscle starts on the bone, becomes tendon, tendon attaches muscle to bone. So that's the rotator cuff. There's four rotator cuff muscles. It probably doesn't make any difference. The thing that you need to know, and I'll go through the four just, just to be complete. Supersonatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, and subscapularis. Okay, probably, again, when we're narrowing all this down, probably if you have a rotator cuff problem, it is probably the supraspinatus. Just the way the, the muscles around the shoulder work and that the way the tendons work and how you how you irritate certain things by why you, how you move, the rotator cuff that's most commonly injured is called the supraspinatus. Wrapping it all up in a nice, tiny, short, confusing, hopefully somewhat understandable bow is two reasons for, rot for shoulder pain, rotator cuff problems, and we'll talk about what kind of problems it could be in the future episodes, two, arthritis. If you are having pain consistently that does not get better with rest, anti-inflammatories, if you can take anti-inflammatories, then you should go see your doctor. <clears throat> they will be the best way to sort it out and then give you some uh, treatment plan. We will talk about treatment plans. We'll talk about other things in the rotator cuff. But if you have shoulder pain, go see your doctor. Thanks. Dan Orca. We'll see you next time.